Pats and the Saints. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They've been playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity, and I know they want and expect this streak to get to nine. turn is that will be a touchback and here come the Saints for their opening drive and a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller that was a solid performance last week wasn't it two touchdowns no interceptions ran the team well won the ball game bottom line may not have been earth shattering but it didn't need to be and he'll have a gain of three to the 33 Patriots defense and this unit very tough to throw against currently second best in the NFL and this unit knows exactly where they rank they're number two against the pass in the NFL you know they have their sights set on being number one oh his first throw of the game gonna be intercepted and what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25 yard line Brad, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? So here are the Patriots now in excellent field position to start things out. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. It was fun getting ready for this game, wasn't it? Because normally we talk to the coaches and the players. I think you and I asked to talk to the trainer to see how his arm is going to be. A lot of ice I after mean, last week. <laughs> after last week's game, boy, what a performance that was. And you know who else is having fun? Receivers. Because they get a chance to do what they do best, which is go out and catch the ball. Yeah, and that last week after he threw for well over 400 yards. That's interference. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. A loss of two there, second down. They'll try again. And he's in. Touchdown. Patriots. A great effort there. His 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. 
Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man left side. Shaheed has it. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, this defense for the Pats, they played really well in that win last week against Miami. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. That's another Saints first down. First down to the 28-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Pats are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. And it's certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guy. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. And he's been off target here early on. Two drives, two interceptions. He'll look to snap that streak here as they start first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Up the middle they go. Colvin. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 74 yards. And I know that last week's game is over, but this feels almost like a continuation of what he did in the previous game. It's almost as if, in his mind, he knitted together the two weeks with no break. He's off to a nice start here. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Here's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Back to throw here. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I was waiting for them to get their first because the momentum they carry from last week, unbelievable. They had a snowman, eight sacks. You were surprised that it took this long, and this isn't that long, truthfully. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you've seen that on tape, your offensive line is going to have to ask for help. Tight end has to stay in. If you use a fullback, keep him in. Make sure you have extra people to try and keep your quarterback upright. Didn't work on that play. Five-yard line. 
He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. The sack sets him back a full 10 yards there on first and goal. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rose. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. An entertaining start to this one. More to come. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A nightmare on third and goal. He's sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Seibert able to knock this one through. So add three. Uh, all told, after the safety, it's a five-point swing. And that could have turned out much worse. Well, you don't want to say no harm, no foul, but I do believe you're right. A nine-point swing hurts. Five points, much more manageable, especially in a tight game. Now a hit and a loose football. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, yeah. tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Remember, they had the safety go against them on their last possession. That was followed by the field goal a moment ago. So they've taken a couple of hits recently, but still leading here as they start first and 10. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. The truck's over it. There's another truck. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Patriots at 8-1 on the year. They've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complimentary football. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Chase Young able to record his fifth sack of the season. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll find Shahid out to the right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give them 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. They'll set up a throw. This is caught. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Oh, nice job there. Putting the 
the ball right at the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. They'll send one of those two tight ends in motion. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Second and one. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. Now a hit and a loose football. And it looks like the defense has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Second down and inches. They'll roll him out right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And getting this just shy of midfield, he'll spot it at the 49. <laughs> On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Touchdown, Patriots! A big play there. 51 yards. And the Patriots are able to move back in front. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. He'll look to throw. He gets this complete to Shahid. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They'll set up to throw. throw now on first down. That's a lob, eh? Bringing in another one. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Rose. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 28. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Second down and three. It's the game of seven. Brings up seven and three. They'll look to throw again. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Rose. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed 10. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Seibert's kick is good. And they have regained the lead. So it was fourth down and one of the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's taken down here by the Saints. And that will get a late timeout as it comes in the waiting moments of quarter number two. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So a very tight first half. We're past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Patriots offense and their running back getting set to go once more. He's got a rushing touchdown of the game already as you check to see where he is ranked in rushing TDs coming into the weekend. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Looking to throw. Our rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Second and two. Hunter Henry brings it in. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. A give to the fullback on the dive. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They're going to look to throw. Dancing to his left. Shakes off the sack. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could. In trouble, and he's taken down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Here comes the Saints punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over.
They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for New England, 55 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Back to throw. Caught on the slant. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. From a yard out. And the Patriots have retaken a third quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Second and four. Drives the left side and finds a lobo. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Douglas with a grab over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Marcus Jones picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So what a turn of events there. You're driving to take the lead in this third quarter, but then one mistake, and you're watching the ball being returned for a touchdown. Certainly a great example of how focus has to be there on every play, doesn't it, partner? You can't get complacent, and I think that he did. He's got him moving downfield, but that's a play where he just shouldn't have thrown the football. And that ultimately could wind up costing him the ball game. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the... Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this. Back now here live in New Orleans. The Saints on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not... That'll be taken in by Shahid. 
And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Second down and a yard. Brings up second and one at the Patriots 37 yard line. Now back to throw. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And now. Touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That ball caught by his rookie wideout. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Back to throw here. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. All right, they're gonna try and keep hope alive here on fourth down, they're going for it. Gotta try it here, he's back to throw. He's gonna wind up and air it out. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Well, I get it, Charles. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Down big, they just sent their receivers out, let it fly, but the defense, they were ready. Yeah, and there aren't too many people left in the stadium that couldn't see that coming. But that's not a major criticism at all because you had to try it. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Kirby Joseph. And the Saints force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Douglas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. He gets this complete to Shaheed. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Back to throw again. Throw left side, complete. That's Rose. Now a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that'll 
fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Rose. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. That is caught. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches. You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. They'll look to throw here. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And my goodness, another interception. And the Patriots are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now it looks like he'll throw here, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Here's second and 10. They'll drop to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Justin Reed. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career. And he grabbed a quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out because the current formula is not working. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. They'll set up to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch.